In this video, we're going to look at multiplying a mixed number by an integer, a whole number. We're going to look at solving the equation 3 multiplied by 3 and 5 sixths. So here's our, uh, our mixed number, integer and a fraction. We can solve this using two different methods. The first method we're going to look at is solving this using a partitioning method. When we're solving an equation like this using partitioning, the first thing we do is partition our mixed number into its integer and its fraction, three and five six. Then you multiply the integer and the fraction by the number you are multiplying by. So here we have three times three, that makes nine. And then we've got five, six times three. When we're multiplying a fraction by an integer, we just multiply the numerator. So here we have five times three, that makes 15, six. Five, six times three, six is equivalent to five, six, add five, six, add five, six. It's repeated addition. So that's why five, six times three makes 15, six, because it's the same as repeated addition. We can also see this using bars. So if we've got five, six, one, two, three, four, five, oh, just make it one bigger. So there, if that's our whole and we split it into one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts, and we select one, two, three, four, five of them, we have five, six. Now, if we have three lots of five, six, so I'm drawing out here, we can see that we'd end up with 15 sixths. So one five six sixths, two five sixths, three five sixths. So that makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen sixths. Great. So now we've multiplied our integer by the integer we're multiplying by, and we've multiplied our fraction by the integer, we can look at seeing whether we can turn this fraction into a mixed number if we've got an improper fraction. And if we haven't, we've got to start looking at whether we can simplify the fraction. So here we've got 15 sixths. 15 sixths is made up of 12 sixths and 3 sixths. Now 12 sixths is two holes, 6 six and 6 six. And then we've got 3 six. Now actually we can simplify 3 six to a half because if we divide both our numerator and our denominator by 3, we get a half. Uh, we get 1 and 2, so we get a half. So 5 six times 3 is 2 and a half. 3 times 3 is 9. Now we recombine these two numbers. We add them together. Nine add two makes 11, and we have our half. So our answer is 11 and a half. Now, we can also solve this equation using another method. And this method requires us to turn 
our mixed number into an improper fraction. So we'd still have three times. Now we've got to turn this mixed number into an improper fraction. So three holes is three holes is 18 sixths. Six six add six six add six six. Three times six makes 18. So we've got 18 six. 18 six add five six makes 23 six. So now we've got the equation, an equation that we can solve. 3 times 23 6. So we multiply the numerator. 3 times 23. That makes 69. So we have 69 6. Now we need to convert this improper fraction back to a mixed number. I know that there are 11 6s in 69. So that's saying there are 66 sixes make 11 holes. And then we'd have three six sixths remaining. So 11 and three sixths, which is 11 and a half. So our answer, just like with our partitioning method, is 11 and a half. Now, you can use whichever method you prefer I find the partitioning method simpler, more straightforward. The um, improper fraction method means that you have to be really secure with your times tables and really quick with them. It also, this method, um, provides more opportunity for you to make a mistake. So I prefer the partitioning method, but it's up to you to choose which method you prefer and use that one.